Welcome to Clyburn Kids. I'm Buddy Bray. I'm your host for these programs, and we come to you from the Steinway Piano Gallery in downtown Fort Worth. We're doing a show today called Piano Gymnastics. You might not have ever thought about that before, but we have to do a lot of gymnastics on the piano if we want to keep our fingers limber and in good shape. I want to just remind you what the piano looks like to a pianist. Here's a pianist's view of it right here. You'll notice that it has white keys and black keys. And even, you might notice this, that the black keys have a pattern. There are two black keys and then three, and then two, and then three. And that is true all up and down the piano keyboard. So I want to ask you this question. What do you think about using just one set of keys or another? It's pretty easy to imagine only playing a whole piece of music on the white keys. There are just so many more of them than there are black keys on the piano. So it's pretty easy to imagine that. But the black keys are so crucial to the way the piano is set up. To illustrate that, I want to just show you what the piano would look like if it didn't have any black keys. We wouldn't know where to start and where to finish. We wouldn't know where the low end was or the high end was. We wouldn't know any of that because everything would look exactly the same. But there are a lot of white keys, so we probably could play a whole piece using only the white keys. Now, let me show you this. Here's the piano if it didn't have any white keys and only black keys. There are a lot fewer of them, but at least they're in a pattern, right? The twos, the threes, the twos, and the three. So it would be a lot more challenging if a composer wrote a piece that only used the black keys. We're going to let you look at a piece here pretty soon by Frederick Chopin. It's called an etude. And an etude just means a study. We were talking about piano gymnastics, right? So a study means really working out at the piano. Our friend Alex McDonald is going to play this etude by Chopin for you. And I want you to particularly watch Alex's right hand, this hand right here. And here's what I want you to watch for. He's going to play a lot of black keys in this piece using this hand. And I want you to see if you see Alex playing any white keys at all during the performance. Here's Alex McDonald playing Chopin's Etude, Opus 10, number 5. Here's Alex. answer is Alex did not play any white keys at all in his right hand in that performance. I didn't want to tell you the nickname of the piece beforehand, but most pianists call this the black key etude because Chopin did not write 
any white keys for, for the pianist's right hand. That's our episode of Piano Gymnastics. We have a lot more episodes archived of Clyburn Kids. And to find them, you can just go to www.clyburn.org slash kids. We'll see you real soon for another episode of Clyburn Kids. Thanks for watching.